Hey guys, how's it going? Here I am, I'm clogging up your YouTube feed again to where the only thing you see is Clock Shooter 79 videos. No, that's not why I'm here guys. I just don't want this stuff to get lost in the shuffle and to be forgotten about. So, I've done videos recently on Walmart, Kroger, Meyer, and guess why I'm here again? Two more companies to add to the list. Two more companies that don't want you to carry guns in their stores don't recognize your rights and they believe their rights to have a private business are more important than your rights to keep and bear arms and to protect yourself. So I'm going to read a little bit here from USA Today. CVS and Walgreens joined the growing list of retailers asking shoppers not to bring guns into stores. The drugstore chains both announced changes to their firearms store policies Thursday, two days after Walmart and Kroger joined the national gun debate. So this is today, just happened a couple hours ago, Thursday, the 9th of September, 2019. And here's a quote, here's a statement from CVS. They say, we support the efforts of other individuals and groups working to prevent gun violence and continually review our policies and procedures to ensure our stores remain a safe environment, CVS said in a statement. Quote, we join a growing chorus of businesses and requesting that our customers, other than authorized law enforcement personnel, do not bring firearms into our stores. And then Walgreens issued a similar statement asking, quote, customers no longer openly carry firearms into stores other than authorized law enforcement officials. So Walgreens, no open carry. CVS, no carry whatsoever. I would note in their statement here, they say nothing about whether it's open or concealed. So I know a lot of you guys have rightfully said, hey, look, I'll just conceal my firearm, which I have a permit and I normally do. And in past videos, I've talked about reasons why some people still should and need to open carry. But CVS, nope, they're going a little bit further. No carry whatsoever. And in their statement, they want to support efforts of other individuals and groups working to prevent gun violence. So they're not going to let you and I and all the law-abiding people carry guns in their stores to prevent violence? Are these people just stupid? Or are they, do they think that we're stupid? Because a statement like this requires the listener to be dumber than the speaker. Look, violent people that are willing to hurt other people or possibly kill other people, they don't abide by laws. Don't you guys get that yet? CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Meyer, Kroger, they're not going to follow your stupid policy. That's the last thing they're worried about is a stupid sign on the door when they're completely psychotic, mentally deranged, and have no type of moral compass whatsoever. Instead, sounds like to me, people that do happen to try to follow laws and people that don't want to get in trouble, whatever, the good people, are they accusing us of being the violent ones? We're going to cause violence by peacefully carrying our firearms, <clears throat> which many of us carry firearms everywhere we go, and nobody even knows. Because these firearms will never appear unless there's a risk of loss of life or irreversible bodily harm. So, two more stores. If you guys are keeping a list, add them to the list. It's going to be hard to buy food if you want if you don't want to support, you know, anti-gun people. Now it might be hard to get your medicine. Do what you got to do, guys. These people are completely nuts. And as they said in here, we join a growing chorus. Look, this is the same old song, same old dance. It's pretty obvious what these guys are all singing. I think you guys know the dance, and it's happening all around us. And as I said in my previous video, this is all representative of a much bigger change that's going on right now. How they're trying to change the core values that this country was built on and that many of us hold dear. I explained this more in the previous video, so I won't repeat myself. If you haven't seen it yet, I suggest going back and watching it because it explains a little bit how I feel about this topic. So, grocery stores, pharmacies, in addition to all the places that were already banned from carrying firearms, like federal buildings and things like that, that we've kind of accepted for years. Hopefully my next video will be a gun video, guys. I really like doing gun videos. I like to talk about positive things. Hopefully something good happens in the news. I'll report that just as fast, but until then, let's see what's going to happen next. Alright, thanks for watching. And have a good one.